Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is your buddy Sprangboro. Today I'm going to do a podcast about my new toy, the Oculus Quest 2, which is VR, in case you didn't know. And what VR is, it stands for, that's correct, virtual reality. Slide this over here. Wow. Today is January 8, 2022. Yes, yeah, so January 1st, I bought a new toy, and that's this guy right here. It's not a new hat. It's not, it's not an, you know, it's not one of these. It's literally just a virtual g reality gaming system. Uh, the reason why I'm wearing it on my head right now is because I don't have electrical tape to cover the sensors uh, to where it'll automatically detect when you're wearing it. So, uh, to keep it very brief, virtual reality... It's uh, where things, you know, where when you go to do things such as uh, ride roller coasters and things like that, they have all kinds of stuff you can do in, in, with your VRs. Uh, everything you go to see, it's virtual reality, so you can feel like you're, you know, involved in whatever's going on around you in the virtual reality realm. Um, they have so many applications and so many different things you can do. They have... Uh, just so many games and things like that. It's honestly one of the coolest things I've purchased uh, in quite some time. Let me try and cover these sensors here so I can take this off and talk to you guys a little bit. Bam. So, um, yeah. So, in the family, you know, for Christmas, some of the cousins have been getting these little virtual reality headsets and things. And I've been seeing them and I thought they were pretty cool. So, uh I thought I'd go ahead and try one. The price of them, you can't really complain, can't really beat. The price for the Oculus Quest 2, which is what I got, was uh, $299.99. Um, it comes with a 126 gig hard drive, which is pretty great. Because a lot of the games are pretty small. They're like 1 to 5 gigs. Just generally for the things that I've noticed. Oh, gotcha. So, uh, my daughter, you know, I figured I would go ahead and get her a, uh, you know, game system that her and I can enjoy, my wife and anyone else in my world that really wants to, to try and enjoy it. Um, so, yeah, I pulled the trigger on this guy. Um, I also bought, because the thing about the, the virtual reality headsets so they take roughly two hours to charge at least two hours to fully charge which uses a type c uh, usb charger which is convenient for me and in my family situation because a lot of our cell phones and tablets and those things have the type c uh adapter um but that doesn't matter. Whenever you're using it from a full charge, I would say on average it lasts about two hours. Uh, so I did some research on the internet and I went ahead and bought one of these little battery packs from Walmart, the ONN. It was like 10 bucks. Uh, I got that so I could hook up a cord to it and I would be able to get uh, more time out of my VR headset. Um, because, you know, I'm sure there's nothing more frustrating than when you're fully involved in a game and then it's telling you that your system is going to die. So nobody wants to go through that. Um, this Oculus 2 uh, came with a right controller and a left controller, which are pretty nifty. They remind me similar of, a, you know, of the Wii uh, where they had little straps on them so people didn't let go of them and throw them through their TVs and things, which people still do with Oculus because you can watch all kinds of videos of people playing boxing and just doing all kinds of crazy, crazy, crazy things with them. Very awesome. Very fun. A lot of a lot of entertainment. Uh, so far, you know, we're about eight days into having, uh, having our system here. Uh, some games are very laid back and chill. Uh, some games are, are very uh, immersive and you really, when you get into them and things like that, you can get motion sickness very easily if you're, you know, susceptible to those kind of things. Um, done a lot of research on them while I've been playing it and things. Um, 
and uh, they say there's things you can do to not get as motion sick. Uh, some of the things you can do is uh, provide a fan. I have a fan in my game room here that is not currently running because I do not currently have a need for it because uh, I'm not playing any of those kind of games. But they say running air helps uh, having, you know, if, if, you, if you need support, uh, you know, having someone around you to talk to you or, or some type of a noise in the background uh, just to kind of let you know you're still there in the real world and kind of keep you connected. Um, I think eventually I'm going to get my box fan and break it out and put it near my computer or something like that. So then that way while it's blowing air to keep you cool, uh, because it, it is it can be quite overwhelming. It can be really an intense experience playing some of these games and just so many things you can do. You can go and watch videos. They have YouTube VR uh, where you can go and watch, you know, any, you know, all kinds of crazy things in VR. There's... Uh, you know, you can you can go like I, for instance, I went to YouTube VR and I did a uh, there's a tour that you can do of basically of the White House with Barack and Michelle Obama. And I thought that was, you know, whether you're into politics or not, I'm really not that in, you know involved in them. But I thought that was kind of a cool experience to be able to see the White House as if you're literally standing there. So many games, so many different things. Um, you know, I was just super excited about the Oculus because uh, why not try something that makes you, you know, put the world around you kind of behind you where you're not thinking about it. Uh, if you're wondering how I'm doing this setup right now to do this video, I'm using my Streamlabs OBS, uh, which is what I use to record a lot of things. Um, and I'm also going to be using the built-in stream uh, sharing function that the Oculus comes with. Uh, has a casting, you know, availability. Um, I'm going to be doing probably a lot of videos on this thing, a lot, you know, not just games. Um, if you follow me at all um, or my friends, you know, I usually will do, you know, for instance, I've done like the Nacho Average Dare podcast and I'll label them and I'll do episode one, two, three, four, five, yada, yada, yada. Um, but with, I think with the Oculus, because uh, there's so many different things of VR, so I'm probably just going to call it Sprangboro VR. And I'm probably just going to go with the date. So who knows what each day might have. It's kind of like my journal. Um, without further ado, I do kind of want to get this to where you guys can see it. Um, so let me get this set over here. Um, all right. So now I'm using the stream. So you're going to notice that I'm going to move some things around and do some things. Uh, if you really want to know more about it, eventually I'll be more than happy to dive in here. Let me flip back and get this set up right for you um i gotta make sure my lenses are cleaned off because i think i just got some eye goop on it fingerprints or whatever and you really want to use a microfiber towel so i'll let you know that let me switch this back over to the cast all right so with that being said i'm going to go ahead and turn the sound on over here so you'll be able to hear that i want to make sure that this is all set up i got the sound broadcast is here this is all pretty new to me so you know you're gonna have to bear with me all right so the controllers are really cool because in the vr it will tell you which one is which it'll have an l and it'll have an r which out of the box they also have an l and an r uh right now you're looking at the confirm play area so what i'm going to do is i'm going to confirm it um, even though it's not where i want it to be so right now I am outside of the boundary. So it's asking me, they have two types of boundaries. They have a room scale and a stationary. Room scale, you can set your boundary to whatever's going on around you. Pretty neat. Um, I'm, but I'm going to do stationary just because I don't feel like going too far, doing too much. So stationary, as you can read, stationary, confirm, boundary. Look around and check this boundary is clear of obstruction, including anything you could hit with your arms outstretched. The stationary guardian is for sitting or standing experience only. When your headset gets close to the edge of your play area, pass through will fade in. You'll see the real time view. It's pretty uh, pretty wild. Uh, I could tell you all kinds of stuff about this, but it's honestly one of those things that you're going to want to look for yourself. So I have my two controllers here. We got Beat Saber, and we've got some other things that that you know I've installed 
on here. Uh, one thing I will tell you about this experience, if you're seeing it or hearing it um, going on around you, uh, right now I am broadcasting this. I am not using the audio from the actual Oculus. I'm using my uh, Yeti microphone here. Um, you can use your volume off of your your actual talk on here if you set it but mine's not set up for that right now um when i first got it came with rec room and a bunch of other games you can go and you can find uh well well worth it a lot of free stuff uh, i installed poker stars i install I installed bogo which is really cool uh First Steps is cool, Elixir. Some of those games are really fun to get you started. This Pavlov, I guess, is like a first-person shooter that I'm curious to try. I have not tried that yet because that game looks like it's going to be pretty intense. This Echo VR, I played a little bit of that. Uh, that, you know, you can get pretty involved. But the game that we've been seeing, oh, Gorilla Tag. Super fun. It's a free game. If you want to play something that gets you involved, that's a pretty good game. Work rooms, that's uh, supposedly like a, it's going to be like a um, meeting place uh, for, you know, you should definitely look up what, what all you can do. If you're looking around here, I'm looking really, you know, you have your environments, which you can change by clicking this guy down here, which is your quick settings, and you can go to settings. And then you can go to your boundary virtual environment. So right now I apparently am set on using the Ryokan retreats. There's, for instance, the quest dome. If you look around, there's like the couch over there. There's like little steps. Look at the view though. A bunch of people are probably out there doing their same thing. Looking all around. You can look all around. There's a fireplace pretty awesome here's a space station one um i think that one's pretty cool looking out there at the earth um let's see here classic home some people like that one i think it's pretty cool it got like a little robot over there stairs lead over there um just a lot of cool things you can do with it uh you know definitely want to sit down and explore uh get more familiar with all of them if you're looking for like a little retreat that's kind of a cool one little typewriter up there books and blankets all this stuff now if you're seeing this video here which you are one thing that's different and it actually does make sense is whenever you're casting it only casts your left eye which is on this side because it's in 2d so um they're not gonna do a whole lot of that um yeah, just a whole lot of cool stuff. Let me go back to here to my apps. And I want to pull up this game right here, Beat Saber, because I've been playing that a little bit. Uh, Beat Saber is kind of like Guitar Hero. It's kind of like Dance Rants Revolution. You can get on. You can play by yourself. You can play with friends. You can set the difficulties. Uh, you have your party, your campaigns. That's how you exit the game. I still have yet to get back to this main menu when I'm in it, probably hitting the left button here. But, yeah, so I'm gonna go to solo here. I wanna just kinda of give you guys an example of this. So they have all these different uh, volume packs, different songs with different levels, and all that things. You can find what works cool for you, what you enjoy. Um, 100 Bills, I played that one a few times, pretty fun. This one here, what is it, uh, Level Insane. I think I played that one earlier on normal, and it was actually kind of boring. Uh, didn't seem like there was a whole lot to it. Um, actually, let me go ahead and click this one here, 100 bills. I'm on normal level. I am connected to my computer right now. I don't need to be. I'm just doing that. Let me uh, back up here and move my chair. So this right here is going to reset the boundary. Because anytime you walk out of the boundary, it kind of makes you redo that. Um, so I'm in the middle of my game room right now. Let me go ahead and back out of my 
VR area here. There we go. It's going to ask me to reset, so I'm going to do a stationary. I'm going to set it right here in the middle. If you're able to see it. If not, that's okay. We're here. Alright, so if you're, I'm looking down, there's my feet. And again, you know, my streams will get better in time when I figure all this out. Uh, volume one, let's go to this one. This was pretty fun. So, your right hand is the kid, it's like a blue saber, your left hand is like a red saber. Some of them are different, some of them are have like the high schools over here. They have different things here. Uh, let's go ahead and let you kind of get a taste of this. Not saying I'm going to do good, not saying I'm going to do bad. If you look down at the bottom here, down there, oops, it has a little white bar that shows where if you're messing up or anything like that, it goes down. It's got arrows pointing on the blocks that shows the side of it. You guys see that This thing is crazy. I enjoy it a lot of it. Six in this or 196. I did miss the one at the beginning, so there's a, a taste of that game there in VR. There's got to be a way to back up. That's just what I have. Oh, there it is. Okay, wow. I've been playing this for a while and I've never seen that. So now you've got to see that. So now I'm gonna show you another game. So that one there. Not too too overly invasive, you know. Beat Saber. It's a lot of fun. Um, let's see here. What game did I want to show you guys? Let's go to Bogo. This was pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Um, yeah, this, this experience is really cool. Um, I think for anyone that's looking for an interesting way to do gaming. Uh, you know, this is definitely a good way to go. So here I am in my boundary. Uh, here. This is my computer here. I can see it. So, there's my friend Bogo. So now I'm using the right phone stick. Okay, so let's see how we Oh, yeah, that's so cool. That's a good 
in the future I have more things that I plan on figuring out and put this down I have more things that I plan on figuring out with the oculus and you know I bought a longer uh, longer type C cord that should be here tomorrow 
it's like 20 foot it was only like 13 bucks online um i bought that so that way i could uh be able to really get into playing the game here um i think it's streaming my game yeah it was um i'm gonna mute that all right let me switch this over get that off of there because i'm done playing right now but yeah so that's just a little example um there's just so much you can do you can uh there's a netflix app on them you can go and you can watch netflix like you're uh you know it, sitting in a you sitting in a your house or whatever watching a super huge big screen tv uh just so many different things if you uh find any cool apps or uh, vr experiences that you like to suggest for me to try or do a video on uh you know feel free to stick around and like the channel feel free to throw me some suggestions and those kind of things um as you know i'm all about it um i am super excited i'm probably gonna go play beat saber for a little bit and probably gonna stream it here for uh a little while uh, but I really want to do a video on YouTube to show my to show everyone kind of what's been going on and where we've been at. So uh, yeah, remember, hey, you know, that's there's a new world out there, and just because that changes doesn't mean you can't get involved in some virtual reality and things. We've talked about doing like some podcasts, virtual reality, uh, with work work groups or work rooms or whatever it's called. Uh, you know, you can go online, you can watch all kinds of videos on, on VR and different, different things. Uh, you know, I, I, it's just, it's amazing. It's a world out there that you don't even know exists unless you actually go look. So yeah, we'll, uh, catch up with you another time. Uh, hope you guys like this video. Uh, again, keep your eyes open. You're going to see more content. You're going to see it get more involved. Uh, appreciate you guys i hope your year has been going so so far great as well we'll catch you next time deuces